a mere three months ago, I asked the YouTube community to give me questions so I could answer them. Let's begin. Christopher Whedon, amongst others, asked, Do your wife and kids worry about you playing with yourself in the basement all the time? My wife should be concerned about me playing with myself just in general. But she's not. For those of you that don't know, I film out of my basement. My studio's down here. I have a green screen, a bunch of lights. And I usually do this at like 9.30, 10, 11 at night. Right now it is 9.30, so I'm, I'm accurate. Diago J asks, what franchise do you think could actually benefit from a remake with strong female leads? Something new. I don't think anything needs to be remade, especially with like a gimmick. Kayser asks, are you happy with how things are with your life in regards to your YouTube channel and personal life? Do you feel you're underrated? Personally, I love what you do here and want to support you on Patreon. Once I'm old enough, I will. Love your channel. And I may love you as well, person who's thinking about supporting me on Patreon. In the future when you do, I certainly will love you. Check me out on patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. You can support the show there. It's, it's whatever you want to give a month. Two dollars, five dollars. I mean, the choice is really yours. No dollars is... It's not an option. If you don't like Patreon, you also have the option to support me right here on YouTube. They have a join button at the top somewhere. Click on that bad boy, $4.99 a month. It gets you exclusive videos, just like you would get on Patreon, along with badges. You may see some in the comments. They have a special badge, depending on how long they've been supporting me for. This is a hobby that makes some money, and it generates just enough for me to want to keep doing it in the hopes that someday I could do this full time. Am I close? <laughs> God, no. But if you support it, I could get there. Doug FB 17 whatever that means. Do you think that Star Wars 9 has the potential to be good? And or what would you do if you were writer or director? It's funny you should ask Doug FB 17 whatever that means. I posted a video like a month ago about what I would like to see from Star Wars Episode 9 in a way that they could kind of salvage a little bit of what disaster this trilogy has been, in my opinion. So maybe check that out. What movie review YouTube channel do you frequently watch? None, I guess, comes to mind. I don't watch a lot of YouTube in general. I, I, I Like I said, I have a full-time job and a family, and I'm trying to do this YouTube show. Plus, I do freelance work, and, and there's just not a lot of time in my day to sit and watch YouTube. Especially if I want to watch movies and play a little bit of PS4 or a little Nintendo Switch. I don't have time to be sitting here watching other assholes' reviews. Plus, why do I care what they have to say? My opinion's better than theirs. I do like Red Letter Media. They're about the only guys that I, I get a kick out of. I'm sure you've heard of them, and if not, definitely check them out. Dylan Romero says, Hello Adam, I am personally fascinated by John Carpenter's films, and I was wondering which one you prefer between the two of his horror masterpieces. The candidates being, John Carpenter's The Thing, or John Carpenter's Halloween, and why? The Thing. I love The Thing. It's haunting, it's creepy, uh, X-Files did a great episode that paid respects to it. I think it was season one or two, uh, except for it was w with worms that crawl through the necks. X-Files was awesome. And so was the thing. BB says, okay, for real this time, how did cringe videos start? What gave you inspiration? They're hilarious. I agree. I love the cringe. It's my favorite show I do now, although movie feuds will always be the most special to me. The cringe is the most fun to film because I'm off the cuff usually barely scripted sometimes it is but most of the time it's not and uh yeah it's just me being able to let loose get a little sillier than my my day-to-day -day usually is inspiration for the cringe is just all the cringy shows that i've seen from collider videos from black nerd comedy i think it was andre who i'm sure is a really nice guy in real life i don't know him but man his show is just it was just brutal for me, the few that I saw. He, he just seems so disingenuous, even if he is genuine. Some of these channels that just seem like they're either being paid by Disney directly or some of these other studios, or they just want to be in their good graces so they can go to red carpet premieres. Adult Swim I watched a lot in college and a little bit after. Shows like uh, Tim and Eric, uh, a super awesome show, Great Job, or whatever it was called, something like that. Big inspiration. I like that deadpan dry awkward humor and that the cringe is my attempt to do it if i had two people on the show or more i would love to turn it into a terrible sitcom but once again patreon.com slash adam does movies are here on youtube because i got dreams i got aspirations but i can't bring more people in and have awkward comedy shows and skits if i don't get some of that cash money penis if you had to choose between rewatching fallen kingdom and chopping your dick off 
Would you use a machete or a steak knife? Hatsper gets my humor, I love that. He knows I'm not re-watching Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I'd use a machete. Familiar face here, be master. What's the one thing you would want to do with this channel? Like the ultimate goal. Been a fan for a while now and I'm excited for your channel. And I recognize that beautiful face and the icon. Thank you for the support over the years. What would I want to do with the channel? I mean, I hinted at it earlier. I'd love to do a, a, a cheesy skit based, the cringe style thing. Like maybe like a Pee Wee's Playhouse sort of idea where there's like a fucking talking couch and a fridge not that exactly it'd be movie based you know like maybe the camera's talking and there's like a like a studio delivery guy that comes by like a mailman type thing that would just be one show and it would be a real set not a green screen uh, i would love to do make movie feuds like a more live presentation with an audience and engagement from the crowd bring people up onto the stage one thing that i thought has fallen off completely over the years are the kind of TV quiz shows where the audience comes up and you have teams. You have like the red team versus the blue team, like the double dare shows, and there could be games involved and wacky shit. That'd be a different show. But man, I got so many ideas. Sam Dawson asked, is Khaleesi secretly your wife in disguise? Also, can you show us your dick dance again? If Kay Grimes 82 is secretly my wife in disguise, she's one sexy woman. And yes, you can see the Adam Dick dance again. Rolling the dough. Pan food. The pepper grinder. Chalking the cue. Karate cocks. Nubby. The lasso. Dicky. 